Welcome to Talmudic Treasures. Today we're learning Yevomos page 18, which discusses some very specific details, exactly what happens with a brother who is born a little bit later in life than his other brothers. You have Reuven and Shimon. Reuven dies childless, and therefore Reuven's wife is to do Yibam, is to marry Shimon. Now Shimon also had another wife. Afterwards, we find Levi is born. Now, Levi, because he was not alive when Reuven was alive, we do not say that Levi is able to do Yibum at all. However, the question arises, what happens after Shimon does Yibum, and then Shimon dies? So what is the status not only with Reuven's original wife, but also Shimon's wife? What exactly is the law? And there's a dispute between the rabbis and Rav Shimon, which discuss two possible scenarios in which they both argue. And on this, the Talmud says, well, it's interesting that we only find here that Rav Shimon argues, but not in the first place, in which we're establishing that they argue there as well. So why don't we find that Rav Shimon speaks up at the beginning? Why is he only speaking up and arguing here? So in this, the Talmud says something very interesting. It says the truth is he argues in the first place as well. However, why did we not see this argument there, but only later on? So the Talmud tells us that He was waiting until the rabbis finished all of their words, until they discussed scenario one, and then scenario two, and then only afterwards, the other Pollock Elihu, and only afterwards does he speak up, which shows the tremendous, again, sensitivity that the sages had and respect that they had toward one another. That even though it's true, they argued, but they allowed the other person to be able to say their thoughts and to be able to finish their ideas. And only after they completed their thoughts and ideas did Rav Shimon offer a different opinion. And this is a very important message for ourselves. Even in the midst of this very difficult piece of Talmud, we can still derive that when it comes to a situation where someone doesn't agree with me, I could easily interrupt them right, in the, right away. That shows them a lack of respect. Allow that person to express their point of view. Listen, and then you'll have your turn.